Okay, take five. <laughs> All right, this time we're going to do subtraction of three numbers. And I'm going to show you um, a relatively easy one, and then a little bit more difficult one. I'm going to show you a couple of different methods of which you can use to deal with them. So the first question that we're going to ask is 375 take away 147. Now you could, if you want, use a number line as we've done in the past, but it's going to take you a long time. And I think when it gets to these sorts of numbers, really you're better with a more formal method. So I'm going to rewrite it as 375 take away 147. And like before, I'm going to treat them separately as units, tens, and hundreds. The first thing I'm going to do is use my finger or use my hand and cover that. And I've got five. I want to take seven away. I can't. So I'm going to make that 15. And because I've borrowed that 10, that seven now becomes a six. So the questions are 15 take away seven, which is eight. Four from six, which is two. And three take away one in the hundreds column, which is also two. So the answer to this question is 228. Now you can do that fairly easily and it seems very straightforward. The difficulty comes is when we change the question to have to get involved in a few more carries. So I'm going to rewrite this question over here as 375 take away 187. So the number's changed in the middle there. Once again, I'm going to use a formal method, and I'm going to rewrite it as 375 take away 187. And nothing's changed so far, because I'm going to also treat it in exactly the same way as units, tens, and hundreds. I'm going to cover it. There it is. I'm going to say I've got five, and I want to take seven away, and I can't. So that's now going to become 15. And this 7 now becomes 6. So, let's ask the question. 15 take away 7 is 8. But now I've got a bit of a problem, because in the tens column, I've now got 6, and I want to take 8 away. I can't do that. But what I can do is apply exactly the same principles that I've learned before, by borrowing from the hundreds. So that now becomes 2, and that now becomes 16. So 8 from 16 is 8, and 2, take away 1, is 1. Now, does that look a little bit complicated? It is a way of doing it, and it's a very, very good way, and if you're happy to do that, then it's not a problem. But I'm going to also just show you a slightly different way, and if you prefer, you might want to try this one as well. So again, I'm going to rewrite that as 3, 7, 5 take away 1, 8, 7. Exactly the same principle. That now becomes 15. So 15 from 7 is 8. But because I borrowed it, I'm going to pay it back by putting it there. So I've now got 7 take away 9, which I can't do. So I'm going to also have to borrow that, and that becomes 17. 17 take away 9 8. It's 8. And then I'm going to have to pay it back, and 3 take away 2 is 1. So I get the same answer, 188 and 188, but I just treat it slightly differently by paying back on the bottom line in much the same way that we've done with the other addition questions that we've done. So that's how to do three-digit subtraction. And again, if you look at the bottom of the screen, round about there, there are some Word documents that you should be able to download and practice for yourself. Thank you.